audio jungle. Hi, today we are discuss about the Orientalism. This is a book and written by Edward Shedd. Firstly, I am going to tell you about the Edward Shedd. Edward Shedd full name is Edward Ferry Shedd. Born, born November 1935, I was a professor of literature at Columbia University, a public intellectual and the founder of the academic field of post-colonial study. A Palestine a Palestinian American born in Mandatory Palestinian. He was a citizen of United States by, by way of his father, a U.S. Army veteran. Okay. Uh, critic of modern age. He was a critic of a modern ways. Age. Edward said one of the finest critic in America to respond to the challenge challenge to european uh, challenge to european structuralism or structuralist theory in 1975 he published beginning and in 1978 he extended his most powerful and novel theory powerful novel theory of orientalism most powerful work literature and society the world the text, the critic, culture, and emphasis, and political and culture. His book Orientalism appeared in 1978. Significance of a classic, it is a said that Orientalism had, Orientalism had uh, a complete itself metaphorical form and a secularly, secularly discourse to the an imparallel intuitions. Okay. Now we are talking about the Orientalism. Orientalism uh, is a Orientalism is a 1978 book by Edward Shade, in which the author established the it composes terms Orientalism as a critical concept to describe the West commonly conceptions descriptions of portrayal of the East. The example. Uh, the society of the people of the Orient are those who inhabit the place of Asia, North Africa, and Middle East. Said argue that Orientalism is the sense of Western scholarship about the Eastern world, is in, is try to the imperialist society who produce it make much Orientalist work in her inherently politically and survival to power. In this book, uh, firstly we are knowing about the Orient. Orient is a uh, uh, Orient. It, it means the East. A study of the East country is all about the Orientalism. When we are uh, including the lism in any kind of word, it means the study of something. You know very well. In this book, uh, three parts is a major. First, the scope of Orientalism. Second, Orientalist and structures and restructures thought is orientalism now now we are talking about the orientalism firstly orientalism can be summed up in a three points first he talk about the distinctions between pure and political knowledge second is he show how the methodological used by the waste to define as interrupt the orient and just he part of the process third is he clarifies his positions by the explaining scholarly interest and social circumstances which he has experienced okay orientalism now we are knowing about the orientalism european culture gained in which extent and identity by setting itself off against the orient as a sort of sur surrogate and even underground itself okay in his introducing said he clarifies that the orient has been orientalized he talks that the orientalism is not on interact facts of nature it is not only related to the geographical reality orient is not standing about the idea of creation without reality said coined a new methodology which he term of representations also explains he historical aspects of orientalism 
second point is uh, uh, said declared that the orientalism where those who saw the rise of the muslims in asian region uh, reasons as a threat to christianity orient as a set of imaginations value idea customs which can be seen as a result of the attempt for self identifications orientalism is a process of learning okay now we are uh, i am explaining the detailed summary of orientalism the essay begins with a reference to the visit of french journalist in britain burning 1975 to 76 in those days war had almost totally renewed in this this city it was begins look at the form the european point of view and come to be considered as the only way to look at east almost all the western country russia france germany italy and america have studied the orient similar which can be called orientalism the european consider orient as a center of material civilizations and culture language tradition and philosophy orientalism is a largely and largely an a franco british enterprise to speak of orientalism is to speak of british french cultural enterprising including the whole of india and biblical text and colonial arguments the re- the relations between occident and orient occident and orient in the relationship how power and domination it would be incorrect to say that orientalism con- contains nothing but imagination fact idea and myth is all about the orientalism what is the relation between occident and orient uh, occident who is a orient his suffering country undeveloped country and inferior of the west okay east is a orient and from middle east pla and asia is north africa is a middle east this is a orient and ok who is occident developed country superior and this is a west occident west european france germany canada england this is occident uh, okay western explores the orient country occident reveals orient countries western people go to the east and said will be make your civilized and impure of condition but they start ruled over there okay this book argue that colonization colonialism was not only the system of political rule but also the view view which is based on west in the superior than the east orient is a producing by west and larger by curtains political and ideology okay orientalism book divided into three parts first is the scope of orientalism and second is orientalist structures and restructures and third is orientalism now said says that orientalism was a ultimately a political vision of reality who structures prominent the difference between the familiar european west and a strange the orient east so the first part of this book shows the western representations and situation of the east and second part is expo- expositions of western ideology and how the psychological historical and literary writer of 19th century wrote about the orient now third part is analyzing the modern orientalism also british and french orientalism okay now uh, now this uh, this uh, orientalism is no conclusion is come to so orientalism but uh, according to the orientalist or, orientalist western is a superior developed and civilized country but eastern is a racism uncivilized country western people justify this act of seize 
that they did well, said culture critic based known for 1978 Orientalism influential texts of the 20th century. Said challenged the concept challenges the concept of Orientalism or difference between East and West. Okay. Orientalism is all about the study of near and far eastern society, culture, language and people by western scholars, the productions of idea, knowledge and opinion about the Orient. Crisis. What is a crisis? Say describe the discriminations between reality, what text says about the reality using what orientalist says about the Orient and the text. Okay. Conclusion is uh, he said finish his essay describing his and the Orient crisis. The present crisis discriminized the dispar disparately mean between text and reality. He is not only exposed the source of Orientalism and view that also to refer on its important for the contemporary intellectual fields that uh, ignore a part of whole part of war is to avoid reality so this is avoiding of reality this is a crisis okay said road orientalism during travel from east to west crisis is a chapter from orientalism orientalism eastern part of the world deal with the principle of ideology principle or ideology of orientalism countries Orientalist scholar who study of Oriental literature, philosophy of Orient and Occidentalism deal with the philosophy of Western country. Accidental opposition who study of Occident country, history, culture, history, culture and Occidentalist people are hypocrisy. Orientalism Oriental people are superstitions. Reread the history if you should know about your history, culture, heritage. Superstitions, backbone of our culture should know history, culture, myth, traditions. Okay. This is all about the Orientalism. I hope you will be understand. Uh, now, last thing is Sage says European culture gained in a strength and identity by the setting itself of against the orient as a sort of surrogates and even underground self okay this is all about the orientalism i hope you will be understand very well superstitions backbone of our culture should know history culture myth tradition everything you know about your culture your history your tradition your mythologies everything okay so read it and thanks for watching this video